that's not great news. <clears throat> uh, you probably could not see from your vantage point what I was seeing when I was looking at the um, wrist pins. Honestly, I can't remember what was in the video. Um, you know, this is what happens when you buy used parts. You just don't know what you're getting. And lesson learned, trust your instincts and what your eyes are telling you. If something doesn't look right, it's probably not right. And, and so shame on me for proceeding. You're seeing my mistakes uh, occur before your eyes. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna remove the front cylinder, um, hopefully without popping the piston out of the bottom. It isn't that big a deal. If, if it does happen, I can get the piston back in, but Actually, you know what? I don't know if you guys, that that styrofoam, I didn't catch that. So it may not have done much damage, but it ain't good to have it in there. So that's, we're just gonna count this as a blessing. We're gonna see it that way. All right, now let me get some towels and stuff down in there so that when this circlip goes flying across the room, it doesn't bounce off all right back into the crankcase. So let's try to get a little insurance here. I reckon this is probably enough. And you can rest assured, I'm gonna check both sides of this piston and other parts and see if there's any more of that styrofoam or anything that, that might also be a cause for concern. So all I'm doing is just getting the, the clip started with this tiny screwdriver I've got. And then carefully uh, grabbing the end of it with my plier, any of those pliers and pulling it out. Now it comes. Okay, so now I've got to get a case of the wiggles here and get this wrist pin back out. Some of you guys are going to wig out about what I'm going to do, but I'm just gonna very lightly tap it with a brass drift punch. Uh, I mean lightly, very lightly. I can't get it to push out with my finger and it's probably just caught on a, a little thing. Some of you guys are gonna laugh at my claw hammer. Don't laugh at my claw hammer. I used to have, so you can see I'm, I'm barely, like I'm choked way up and I'm just tapping to get it past whatever it's caught on. And we do have to come all the way out with this wrist pin. And that's what we needed to have happen. All the way back out. And I'll just pop it right here. Uh,
Again, I'm just ever so gently tapping on this. I might be able to get it now. Nope, it's covered in oil. I'm not gonna get that out with my fingers, y'all. So, and let's try to cushion the oil. And let's hope that my stock, <laughs> Let's put it back in like that. How about that? Let me wash this off real quick. I got a gasket, cut me. All right. Let's take a look at this thing. Well, that's what I was afraid of. That is a no, no, identical to the stock rod um, uh, wrist pin. So now I have to order new wrist pins. <sighs> One step forward, two steps back. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Okay, guys. Well, so much for progress. That's the end of this video. I was hoping that my stock wrist pins would, would be sufficient and uh, be able to pop those in there, and they are not. Also would like to publicly thank Chad again. He left a comment in the last video where I had everything apart, was just putting everything together and caught it and said, hey, grab those. So, well, you can probably hear the disappointment. I was hoping to be further along than this and here we are. So anyways, that's gonna conclude today's video, unfortunately. Uh, for those of you interested in helping to support the channel, uh, you can do a number of things. You can like, share, subscribe and all that. Also, I've got a Patreon. That would probably be the greatest benefit to helping this project move along. Um, if you'd like to help me uh, keep motivated and keep pressing on, I would very much, very much appreciate that. So anyways, until next time, y'all, peace out and keep it between the ditches.